All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to 30 Minutes to Midnight. And we are back at the adventure again to carry on the journey here. And of course, we made our way to the dam, finally. Not quite sure what's gonna happen here, but we finally made our way to a brand new location, and I'm super excited about it. If you guys are as excited as I am about this game, make sure you hit on that like button down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's carry on the journey. So, in the previous one, of course, we made our way to this location, the dam. Now, in order to go in, I'm pretty sure I gotta find the key. Uh, this ticket over here actually told us that I gotta hey, go to some sort of a Vince. camp sound, a campground. I doing up there at the base, but it's giving me some really bad vibes. So, I'm out of here. <laughs> There's a copy of the keys at the campsite. Exactly, go so I gotta go to champ. the campsite. <laughs> go get it, champ. Alright, buddy, let me go check it out then. Now, when the game started, we've actually seen this dam being blown up. But apparently it's all good. And then when we went to this site... Oh, it is blown up! Never mind. But apparently it didn't blow up completely. Unless though. you have a very convincing argument, I'm not going underwater. All right, so it has been blown up, but apparently it didn't break now that fully. I'm close, the hole looks much bigger than I thought. Huh? I was actually expecting that the whole dam would have probably got destroyed, and the whole thing would have just gotten absolutely uh, hammered by the water. But it seems like it's still holding, at least for now. All right, let me try to make my way to the campground, uh, campsites more like, and uh, see if I can find the key for this place. Welcome to Crystalline Lake. Hunt Beast, home of the Great Sherman. Ooh, I wonder if I'm supposed to get at the lake and say that secret word. I wonder. How is having a lake monster a selling point? Wait, what's this? Sponsored by the Lake Monster Syndicate. <laughs> Have a lake but no monster? Call 1-800-SWAMPY and get your own monster today. <laughs> Can I call that? Harpoon Let's prop? not damage other people's property without a reason. Wait, I need it. It looks like a harpoon, but it's made of cardboard. Hmm. Could fool anyone. Exactly. Maybe I can get it? No? You don't want to get it? Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Maybe not yet. Maybe I got to figure out what I need it first, and then I'm going to be able to get it. All right, Campsite Lake, right over here. Oh, what the heck is happening here? Hey, kid. Where can I find the camp manager? You're speaking to her. Wait, what? Listen, kiddo, I don't have time for this. Listen, kiddo, I don't have time for your games. Can I speak with the grown-ups? <laughs> oh, she's disrespecting you, Pamela. Don't let her get away with oh, it. Oh, she's got a machete. Oh, the smell of her hair. Uh, Can I get it? Can I get it? Shut okay, up. this got oh, weird really Who fast. Who are you talking to? What the Who heck is that? Floris and Lisa. I see. <laughs> what the heck? That was anyway. so weird. I need to borrow your keys to the dam. You'll have to ask Clarice. Oh you know my the rules, gosh. Pamela. This game. Uh, the campsite staff only. Rules, rules. Six, seven, look, left, left, four, jump, sit <laughs> down, don't touch that. What? Can't we make an exception, Clarice? She seems like a nice girl. Ask her if we can play with her hair. I said campsite staff only. Now stop bothering me. So, the keys are for campsite staff only? Yes. In that case, I'd like to apply for a job here. <laughs> See what you've done? No, she wants to work here. Oh, man. Come on, we could use some help, actually. And I like her. All right, then. It's settled. Now, every I don't like this. must first prove their worth. I really don't like this. Uh, if Hercules could deal with this uh, labors, then so I can if I. If Hercules could deal with his labors, then so can I. What have you got for me? A kayak came loose and is now in the middle of the lake. Oh. Needless to say, we need it back. <gasps> oh, oh, and don't forget about that super cool camper. He rented some diving equipment and never returned it. Ugh. Since we're doing this, you might as well clean the outhouse. It's filthy, and I'm certainly not doing it. You catch all that? I... Okay. So basically gotta do a task for uh, all three of personalities. <laughs> oh man. But I don't like this one at all, dude. What the heck was that? Uh, I really need those keys. About those tasks you gave me, and so what's your story about? Uh, how did you girls meet? So, what's your story? How did you girls meet? <laughs> well, it all began back in Springwood, Ohio. Wait! I want to tell her the story! Let me do it! <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe at the time, Lisa. I want Pam to continue. Sure thing. Let Lisa tell you. Actually, why doesn't Clarice sell? Oh gosh. Maybe another time, Lisa. I want Pam to continue. Aww. Aww. <laughs> My dad wasn't the nicest guy. He spent a lot of time drinking, and oh God. he and mom fought a lot. And well, that's why kids that turn day. up this way. <gasps> but it was an accident. What kind of accident? Oh gosh. The kind that happens very commonly. He tripped and fell on a machete backwards seven times. That what? Backwards seven times? To me. <laughs> uh, yep. You can ask Clarice if you don't believe me. She was there when it happened. <laughs> oh yeah, my ask gosh. Me if you don't believe me. <laughs> that's me if you don't believe me. Now that you mentioned Holy it, smokes, I dude. just remembered my granddad died of the same thing. <laughs> Very common type of accident indeed. Right? Anyway, after the funeral, Mom had to work a lot to make up for his absence. So I got really lonely. That's when Lisa showed up. She gave me the wow. warmest hug and told me I'd never be alone again. Yep, Lisa rules. Now we cuddle all the time, sing songs around the campfire, and sharpen knives. <laughs> Lots of knives. <laughs> That's so Dude, sweet. the game just took... Such a weird turn. I never expected this for this to, uh, for this game, to be honest. About those tasks you asked, I see that you haven't lost your memory. Oh yeah, that's true. I see she that hasn't. you haven't lost your memory. What? Of course I haven't. Why would I have lost my memory? I remember everything. How about you, Clarice? I remember everything too. Even this numbskull right here. Quiet, you two. Now you. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, I got no clue why she no hasn't lost her memory. They can only recall the last few hours. Have you really not heard? We're pretty focused on the campsite. We don't really know what's going on in town. Hmm. Do you know what caused the explosion? Do you know what caused the explosion? What explosion? Maybe what? she means the awful sound that she makes when she talks. <laughs> Come on. Half of the dam has blown up and you're telling me you know nothing about it? Oh, that explosion. I was sunbathing when it happened. It was not time. Moon bathing then. <laughs> Moon bathing Being then. Being a camp manager is so much more stressful with these two around. Uh, about those tasks you gave me, and I really need those keys. I really need those keys. Why should we give them to you? That's a very good question, for which I have a corresponding good answer. I don't. Which is... I don't. <laughs> I'm Betty Gecko. Uh, can you sweet talk Clarice since you give me the keys? Can I speak to Lisa and Clarice? Give me the keys right now. Oh gosh. Uh... Clarice, That's not give gonna me the work. keys right now. Sure. Come and <laughs> get them. Um. Nope. I don't want to get any close. I'm gonna try to find a spot that's less crowded. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Sheesh, dude. Ooh, it's a raccoon. Ooh, such a cute rascal. Let me snuggle you. <laughs> Don't get any close. Raccoons are very vicious. What a weird night, huh? What a weird night, huh? Kitty. Are you going to eat all that? Are you going to eat all that? Care to share? Kitty. What's Come he eating? Come on, don't be selfish. Pass the fishbone. We can split Oh, the fishbone. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. I'll find my own garbage. See if I share it with you then. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, let's put a pin on it for now. Can you tell me what... Uh, can you tell me who made the hole in the dam? Can you tell me what made the hole in the dam? Like a lightning bolt? I haven't seen a single storm cloud since I woke up, but if you say so. Uh, do you know what's going on in town? Do you know what's going on in town? Most definitely not. Yeah. That's all you know? Hey, wait a minute. How do you know that about my mom? <laughs> what can I say? You can't choose family. Okay, I gotta know. What other dirt do you have on your mom? On my I gotta mom? know. What other dirt do you have on my mom? She came here to do what with who? Boom chica chica. <laughs> you take Boom that chica back, chica. <laughs> I don't know this Lincoln fella, but my mom would never. Boom chica chica. Shut up. Boom chica chica. 
<laughs> Let's put a pin in it for now. Didi? All right. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Dude. Wow. I was just trying to be polite. All right. Uh, I know you won't tell me your name. If you can sneak the damn keys out of me, and what can you tell me about the girls? What can you tell me about the girls? Which one? Good question. Tell me about... Huh. Clarice? Clarice. <laughs> He's scared Whoa, of her, of course. Down. So what if she's a little grumpy? <laughs> she keeps what in the basement? What about... Pam. Pam. That's a bit unfair, wouldn't you say? We all have our own little quirks. Nah, I'm pretty sure the machete is just for show. What about... And lastly, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, I'd like someone who fed me all the time, too. <laughs> Ugh, and you ate it? I think I'm gonna be sick on your behalf. Alright, mm, how's Pam doing as a manager campsite? Do you think you could sneak in the keys for me? I don't think that's gonna work. See you so, later. Enjoy. Kitty. Let me see what else we gotta do here. Garbage it's just can. A can full of trash. <laughs> Easy, I wasn't talking about you. I cannot go inside here, of course, because she's gonna be the way. What about, um, over here? Ooh, oh gosh, chop, the basement. Chop, chop your log gently with the swing. <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. Hey, you got no business down there. I just want to take a quick look. Um, on the second thoughts, let's not. Never mind. Let's not go in there. What about the locker? Ooh, what do we got here? Kerosene? Okay, and that is about it. You what about this one? what repels mosquitoes is the citronella and not the sign, right? <laughs> Alright, we got some citronella grass. Can I grab some? Oh, so that repels the mosquitoes. So maybe I'm gonna need it to get rid of some mosquitoes at one point. Yeah, we got the, uh, the grass. Well, the sign clearly works. I don't see any mosquitoes around. Or it might just be the citronella. Yeah, it's definitely the citronella, for sure. Alright, we got that. Uh, we can... The basement is dark and full of terrors. I'm not going in there without my blankie. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going inside, that's for sure. Alright, let me go down here. Whoa, what the heck? We got some kayaks. How many kayaks could the kayak rack rack if the kayak rack racked kayaks? <laughs> and anger the machete-wielding girl? Not in my best interest. All right, uh, what else? A candle? Can I grab it? Yeah, we can. Okay, we got that. Clothes wriggler. Oh, I probably need to actually use it, not grab it. Okay, so I it's will keep this in mind. You feed wet clothes on one side, and then the roller squeeze out the water. Okay, that's good to know. Let's check out the lake. I need getting inside the dam. I don't have time to take a refreshing dip in the crystal clear water. The thing is, I gotta go uh, on the lake, right, to retrieve the kayak. That's what I gotta do. Nice lake. Wait, could this be the lake from the book? Nah, what would be the odds? That would be cool, and I have a feeling I might just have to actually do... Even if this was the lake exactly from the book? Exactly that. Uh, I don't feel like messing with things I don't understand just to get no, a stupid do it. dining fork. Do it, you need the dining Even fork. Even if this was the lake from the uh, book? No. I, don't feel like I need to focus on getting inside the dam. Please Even do it. Dang it, she doesn't want to do it. Oh man, I really thought she would. Oh shoot. Ow! They bite! Okay, so I gotta get rid of the mosquitoes. Uh, and we know exactly how. Using this thing. Away, you fiends! <laughs> oh gosh, it doesn't work. Oh, dang it, it doesn't work. Hmm. Sweet. No bite. But they're still intent on keeping me on this side of the lake. So I'm guessing... I probably need to burn it. Empty spray bottle. Do I need to put Arson, the kerosene here? here I come. Okay, so that works. 
Okay. So we got a little bit of uh, kerosene here. Can I use this with I this? I see where you're going with this, but spray bottles are for liquids, buddy. What about this? <laughs> okay. They're coughing. I feel like I may need fire with this. So I may just need to light it up, right? Bite me once, shame on you. Bite me twice. Enjoy the taste of napalm in the morning, you little bastards. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, so I gotta find some fire first. Let me see. I mean, we do have fire here. There's something about looking into a fire. It's so hypnotizing. It kind of is, actually. It kind of is. But let me grab fire with a candle. Let there be light. There we go. Perfect. She put it in the pocket. I like Seriously. I don't like this girl. Jesus. I don't know what's wrong with her. Bite me once. She bite me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, combine this with this. I like my stuff more when it... No. Use this on this now. You may have started the day as mosquitoes, but you're going out as fireflies. <laughs> you're going out as fireflies. Hey, there we go. We got rid of them. Perfect. All right. Um, let's I need to on. focus on getting inside the den. So we got an outhouse. Oh, hold up. It already sank. Yeah, I can the see that. The unsinkable two. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they said the same thing about the unsinkable one. And it's still sunk. All right, let's check this out. Uh, evolve. Wow, what an awe-inspiring adventure. Paying 25 bucks to clean an outhouse. <laughs> oh, so I got to clean the there? outhouse. That's true. Wait, somebody's sleeping inside? What the heck? What? Not where I'd take a nap, but there's no accounting for taste. Now, <laughs> how should we wake him up? Uh, be polite, be mean, just go for it, and just go for it. Hey, Slowpoke, time to wake up. Nature's calling. Uh, just let me sleep. Now, I'm noticing that this is flammable. So I wonder if I just gotta blow this up. <laughs> pretend to be his boss, pretend to be the demolition expert, pretend to be the automated cleaning service, pretend to be police, pretend to be a launch control parade. Let's go with the uh, demolition expert. Jimmy, I'm in position. Can you confirm the coordinates? Over. Okay, copy that. Yes, I have the explosives. Planting them around the base of the outhouse right now. Over. Huh? No, wait. Oh, is this gonna work? The outhouse is empty. Stand by. <laughs> Over. Preparing to detonate in five. No, please. There's someone in here. Me. Four. Three, <laughs> two, no! Come on, get out, buddy. Hey, relax. It was just an innocent joke. An innocent joke? Seriously? <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. Well, I'd love to chat all day, but I have an outhouse to clean, so off you go. I'd love to, but I'm stuck. What? How I are you stuck? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Now, come out. How could anyone get stuck inside an outhouse? How could anyone get stuck inside an outhouse? I came in here to put my gear on, but with it on, I can't get out. <laughs> then take it off and come out, genius. Don't you think I already tried that? I don't know, did you? Yes! But the zipper broke, and this thing is so bulky, I can barely move in here. <sighs> How can I help you? Well, I have an idea, but it won't be easy. There's a pipe that runs through the wall. I see it. If you can increase its pressure from the outside, okay. it will blow and punch a big hole I can escape through. Um, the handle's missing. I think I saw a raccoon playing with it earlier. No, seriously? Tank yet. So, the valve. Yeah, but the handle is missing. So I need the, uh, the handle from the raccoon now, apparently. Dang it. Man, it these bosses are getting so awesome. Of course. Okay. Well, at least we know what we gotta do. What about the swing? <gasps> it's a tire swing. I love tire swings. Higher! Higher! I'm flying! Whee! Whee! Hey, grab 
gravity. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Ooh, you broke. Can I get it? Can I use it? Ugh, they don't make ropes like they used to. That guy said something, but I didn't click anything, so I'm not sure exactly why he glitched, but we got the rope. So that's all I wanted for now. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, what else? Don't feed the monster. What? What monster? And that's the Look, boat that I need. That's the kayak. Untamed kayak in the wilds of Crystalline Lake. Now, don't raise your voice. I will attempt to wrangle it back to shore. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm noticing. No way. Look at that. Is that a kraken again? I wonder. Now, how do I get the kayak? It's pretty though? far from the shore. Besides, I wouldn't want to contract a weird brain-eating amoeba. <laughs> Brain eating Touch amoeba. One of those flabby algae. <sighs> Forget about the algae. I'm actually noticing the kraken's tentacles. What the heck? Uh, okay, so we got the rope. The problem with the rope is that I may need something else, right, to be able to I throw it at the kayak. It with this. Exactly. I need to figure something else out here. Hmm. All right. Uh, let me go back. Try to figure something else out. Because this is not working. But I'm loving like, the uh, look at the environment. It's really cool. All right, uh, let me go back this way. There we go. And I guess we got a chat with the raccoon again. Lashing out to express your dissent with social norms. Are you sure about this choice? Yes. <laughs> Wait, he had something in his mouth, and he went in the basement. Oh gosh. Um. Um. No, your plate, trash. Can I it's search? It's a raccoonless can full of trash. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening there. I don't like it. But what am I supposed to do though? Stop being so chill me with that trash eater, please. <laughs> what? Go down there? Why don't you go first? Come on, just go down Not there. Not so brave anymore, huh? Yeah, I don't want to go down there. See you around, Mr. Raccoon. Don't you ever come back to the basement. What's even inside the basement? Huh. So nothing really happened though. Interesting. Um, I know why you won't tell me your name. You think you could sneak the damn keys from me? Why did you do it with the handle of the outhouse? Yeah, let's go what back. What did you do with the handle from the outhouse? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you hid it in the deepest, filthiest, darkest hole, and I'll never find it. We'll see about that. What the heck, dude? Um, what's the deal with the guy in the outhouse? What's the deal oh, maybe with that that's why he got him stuck in there. Dang it. <laughs> He's so evil. Wait, what? The chipmunks ambushed him and took all his gear? That's why he locked inside the outhouse? <laughs> wow. On the bright side, it can't get worse than that, right? All right, and uh, how's Pam doing at the manager's campsite? I mean, that didn't I really help me. I know why you won't tell me your name. You're clearly ashamed of it. I bet it's something like Andres y Delfonso Guerra de Montalban. Well, if it's so beautiful, let's hear it then. Hazutawin Voltron Chicky Poo? <laughs> Whoa, you're right. That's so much better. All right, you think you could sneak in and get me the you keys? You could sneak the damn keys out for me. <laughs> Clarice would do what to you? Well, not if you do your job correctly. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was talking to a raccoon, not a chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, how's Pam doing as manager of the campsite? Well then, considering this place is haunted... Wait, what? What stories? 
So, a bunch of spirits crawl out of the lake to the tune of, It's Friday, then! It's Saturday, Sunday, what? Where what? <laughs> Seriously? Look, I've been all over town, and I haven't seen a tiki bar. Just a smelly diner. A tiki Maybe bar? moved on to boozier pastures. Yeah? If they were hanging around Mike's... They must have become ingredients for the latest batch of I can't believe it's not ectoplasm. <laughs> Relax. I'm just messing with ya. See you later. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> okay, that did not work. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I gotta kick the basement door. But first, I gotta kick this. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, she's gonna go after him. Let me try to close the door now. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Basement door. Let me see if I can shut it down. Hey, we got rid of him. Pam is trapped inside. Hopefully the latch will keep her there. I'm pretty sure not. She's probably gonna use the, uh, the hatchet. And the raccoon is gonna be absolutely destroyed by it. Oh, I did not wanna do that. Oh, seriously? Didn't work. Dang it. Okay, let's try this again. Hold up. Maybe I was not supposed to get out. Okay, let's again. Shut it up. There we go. And as that is happening... Nothing's really happening in there, though. So what's the point of doing this? Hmm. Finally. Ooh. I got you. Yay! Now you. Since we're doing this, let's do it right. Oh my gosh! What the heck? <laughs> they finally got away. What the heck? That lash didn't do nothing. Oh my god, the fire! What? Okay, that was insane. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, the thing is, guess what? I can get the fire extinguisher. Seriously, leave that fire extinguisher oh. alone. Hmm. Why though? Even though it's not a full-blown fire, I could still get burned. Okay. Where there was fire, only ashes remain. Uh, can I put this in uh, there? Embers are hot, and in extremely obvious news, hot stuff burns. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I use the rope on uh, it? Embers are hot. No, use it on if this. If I want to use that, I need to get my hands on. Okay, maybe I gotta kick this again. Yeah. Digging through the trash again. Okay, and maybe now I will be able to get the fire extinguisher. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it though. To be honest, I really, really have no clue. Alright, we got it. Now combine Why these would I two. Want to tie that up? It's not like I'm gonna lose it. I don't know. No, I'm definitely not going I like the And this one hmm. here? No. Press lever to operate. Caution. Highly pressure. Ah, pressure. Okay, okay. That's what we needed. So apparently I did not really need the lever for that because I have the highly pressurized with this one. I probably gotta put it in the pipe and blow this up. It's just gonna blow all the poop back inside, unfortunately, for this guy. But, hey, you know what? It is what You're it is. You're gonna need a better reason for me to put that in there. Oh! What? That won't do as a handle. But take your time. No pressure. Oh, she doesn't You're want to put it in there. You're gonna need a better reason for me to put that in there. The pressure, right? Isn't that what we needed? Huh. You're gonna need a better reason for me to put that in there. Maybe... I need to stop the valve here first. And then we're gonna be able to do this. Can I use this with this? Oh! Oh! Okay. Citronella oil. Now put this inside. Why would you need this to smell like citronella? I got no clue! I really have no clue. 
There we go. So I'm guessing I got rid of the kerosene and I replaced it with citronella spray. Good. Those tiny blood suckers got the best of you? Try Oh Au Revoir Moustique, the new fragrance by me, Betty. Okay. So we now have the citronella spray. You're gonna need a better reason for me to. Hmm. What about this one? You're gonna need a better reason. Think it. Oh, I get it. What's that brown thing over there? Ah! <laughs> everyone get out of the water! <laughs> Quick, everyone get out of the water! There's a handle. You... Dang it, finally found it. Could you at least clean it up first? Me? When was the last time? We should use water. Oh, okay, use water then. Thankfully, we had this spray for a long time here, and we could use it with a lot of uh, stuff. Alright, that worked. I didn't really think of uh, actually moving that pipe, to be honest. I was getting a little bit confused here about what I'm supposed to do. There we go. Much better. Not perfect, but at least much better. And now use this one with the Evolve. Get ready! I'm getting you out of there! I'm primed and ready to return to open <laughs> water. Proceed, rookie. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Hey, quick question. What if the pipe erupts from below? Excuse um. me. Erupt from below. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh gosh. Leave my backpack alone, you pesky chipmunks! Oh, sweet! A twonky! <laughs> hey, wait! Give it back, you damn pigeon! Ah, finally I can see him! There we go! Hmm. Sheesh! Water landing. Well, better than a cactus landing. Hey, where did my harpoon go? Oh, so he wants his harpoon back. Well, at least now we know. Oh, there we go. That's a real one. Okay, okay. This was quite a lot of work to get to this stage, to be honest. It was not easy at all. In case you're wondering who your beautiful savior is, I'm Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. I'm Smokey on the water. Hasselback Montoya the Eighth. But you can call me Smokey. Smokey. <laughs> Would you mind fetching me that kayak? Impossible. If I move around too much, it might alert the beast. The what? What beast are you talking about? Leeches? Leeches? <laughs> no, you foolish girl. In these waters lives a terrible creature. There's nothing more terrible than leeches. You must be joking. Corporate lawyers, Jehovah's Witnesses, Baba Yaga, weeping <laughs> angels. I could go all day. Don't forget the chipmunks. Ah, the chipmunks. Anyway, <clears throat> these aren't just any waters. They're haunted by the Great Sherman. I wonder if I should call the Great Sherman What's a great from the book, Sherman? right? I can tell you, but let me warn you right now. After you hear this, you'll never be the same again. Whatever. I doubt this is going to be the craziest thing I'll hear tonight. In these waters lurks Sherman, one of nature's most twisted aberrations. A monster so monstrous, the word monster doesn't begin to describe its monstrosity. Not to change the subject or anything, but when was the last time you had your brain checked? <laughs> Six months ago. Standard Navy procedure. Anyway, don't interrupt me. The Great Sherman has extinguished entire civilizations, and its victims are counted by the thousands. Are you perhaps exaggerating a tiny bit? Except for my hometown, there's literally nothing for miles around. Exactly! Because of Sherman! So let me continue. My great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Juan Plata on the grill, Hasselback Montoya, Fought the beast, but was forced to retreat after suffering grievous injury. 
Since then, each generation of my family has sworn to defeat this unholy beast. How many of them survived? Only one. Are you telling me six generations of your family have died in this lake? Yes, but there won't be another. I'll be the one to fulfill our dynastic destiny. I wonder if this is the son of the one from the book that we read. Um, I need to return the rental gear right away. Can you tell me more about the beast and what do you know about the town? Who's Alice? Who's Alice? How do you know that name? Well, apparently, she's supposed to avenge your death. Exactly. You must have me mistaken for someone else. We Montoyas don't fear death. Oh, really? Because I could have sworn I heard you screaming like a baby. <laughs> Alice is my daughter. And I was screaming like a full-grown man. All right, buddy. What do you know about the town? What do you know about this town? I passed through this morning. It looked like a typical small town. At first, you should have seen their eyes. Those bright eyes. Like what? they were following me everywhere. <laughs> Unsettling. Why didn't you stop and check it out? My schedule is very tight. I need to kill the monster before the Master Chief realizes I'm away without leave. Now, unless you have other questions, I really need to find my harpoon. Alright, buddy. I'll try to get it back to you. Did you hear the explosion earlier tonight? Did you hear the explosion earlier tonight? Not really. I was fighting for my life in the forest when it happened. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I cut through the forest to reach the lake faster when the most unbelievable thing happened. Chipmunks. Oh boy, here we go again. Ah, I see you are familiar with these vile creatures. Indeed we are. I might have heard a thing or two. Go on. They appeared out of nowhere. I haven't seen such stealthy creatures since the Mariachi <laughs> Ninjas. Stealthy creatures. Regardless. I fought fearlessly as they stripped me of every single one of my possessions. The great Smoky Hasselbeck Montoya the Eighth, defeated by a handful of chipmunks? Love it. Handful? They swarmed me. There must have been hundreds of them. Okay, let's say I believe you. That still doesn't explain why you didn't hear the explosion. One of them hit me in the head with a nut. My ears are still ringing. A nut? Yes, a nut. <laughs> uh, I need you to return that rental gear right I away. I need you to return that rental gear right away. I can't. Not now. I'm too close. I must see this through. Well, you can give it to me or deal with the campsite owner. Which, to be honest, might be even worse than facing that imaginary creature of yours. I'll gladly give it back to you in exchange for your help. A fetch I'm listening. Quest? I love fetch quests. What am I looking for? My harpoon. It got lost during the launch. Quest accepted. All right. Uh, let's see. Can you tell me more about the beast? Can you tell me more about the beast? What do you want to know? Uh, what does it look like? What kind of name is the Great Sherman? Um, do you intend to kill it? Do you think it's time to bury the hatchet? And on second thought, yeah, let's go with that. Don't you think it's time to bury the hatchet? If you'd listen to my story. You'd know why I won't. I mean, Six I know the story already, buddy. Family have died in this lake. Don't you think that's enough? You could never understand. The Hasselback Montoyas are not quitters. What kind of example would I set for my daughter if I gave up? <laughs> I can't make that decision for you, but I have a bad feeling about all this. I'm not going to die. But in case I do, regale Alice with my glorious last stand. And tell her to avenge me. After all, she would need to carry on the family tradition. All right, buddy. All right. What kind of name is the Great Sherman? A terrifying one. Okay. Uh, what's his last name? What's his last name? <laughs> what? Why would a monster have a last name? For intimidation purposes, of course. Something like Sherman Soul Eater. Or maybe Sherman the Impaler. Don't be silly, Betty. Legendary monsters don't have last names. Think of Medusa, the Chupavacas, or the Cookie Monster. <laughs> Cookie Monster does have a last name. It's Monster. Look, if you're so interested, you can ask him. While he's writhing in agony at the end of my harpoon. 
All right, what does it look like and how do you intend to kill it? What does it look like? Centuries have passed since one Plata encountered the monster for the first time. Over the years, the legends of this beast became darker and murkier than the lake itself. Nobody really knows what it looks like. Only that it's gargantuan and evil. If it's so big and evil, how come nobody's ever seen it? Of course people have seen it. It's just that none of them have ever made it back alive. Are you sure your ancestors knew how to swim? Positive. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, he's actually sitting in a squeaky uh How do you floater. intend to kill it? With my harpoon. When I find it, that is. All right. Let me try really? to get the harpoon it? then. A harpoon? Well, uh see, the harpoon is actually my plan B. What happened to plan A? Chipmunks. Okay, can you tell me about plan tell A? Tell me more about your plan A. I made a decoy victim out of oxygen tanks and my grandfather's old clothes. May he rest in peace. Then I poured barbecue sauce all over it and stuffed the pockets with shrimp to entice the beast. Then I was going to drag the decoy over to the lake. As you know, no monster can resist the taste of barbecued shrimp. He'd snap the decoy up, and once it was held firmly in his jaws, I would tell him a joke. Uh, what? Oh, the good old classic. See, a ghost pirate, a sea monster, and a mermaid walk into a bar and... Those jokes aren't funny. Maybe not to you, but monsters find them hilarious. How do you know that? Anyway, then he'd start to laugh, and I'd shoot the oxygen tank in his open mouth. The tank would then explode, sending the beast off to hell with a smile. You know, <laughs> I would have paid to see that. Oh yeah, huh, that's I true. I wonder what those chipmunks are going to do with oxygen tanks and a navy rifle. <laughs> On second thought, I've heard enough fairy tales for today. When the beast takes its last breath and I hold its head aloft, then, then you'll believe me. We'll see about that, buddy. Okay, uh, in that case... Being in the water for so long cannot be healthy. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Let's figure out what we gotta do next. So what do we have? We have these ones in my inventory. Finally, out of that outhouse. Finally, out of that outhouse. Wait, a drain remains. What is that? A piece of metal. Ew! Huh. It's a little bit disgusting. That's true, but we do have a plunger. It's squeaky clean. But let's not touch it too much. Yeah, let's leave it the way it is, right? Uh, we should be all good here now. We don't really need it no more. Hey, there we go. So, we're done with this part of the mission. Next, I gotta get the boat. How do I get the harpoon, though? I can't reach the harpoon. Of course you can't. So, what if I combine this with this? There we go. Always remember to keep your plunger on a leash. You wouldn't want them to run away, right? <laughs> right. And now we use this. It'll take more than that to shake the harpoon down. Finally, I can take my plunger for a walk and not lose it. Can I combine more? Oh, we can. Okay. If we could add some pressure to this, it would be a plunger gun. So a what plunger do you think? gun? Are we going kayak hunting? I mean, that could be cool. I should forget about saving the town and just go patent this instead. <laughs> Every household in America will soon want to... What should I call it? Ooh, I know. Pick a kayak 6,000. Pick a kayak 6,000. Wait, you're not ready. I wanted to bring the harpoon to that dude. <laughs> oh, but that looks cool. All right, and lastly, we got to get this thing somehow. <laughs> can reach it. The harpoon is stuck at the top of that sign. Yeah, I can see that. No way I'm getting that down. Now, let me try something. At least we now know that we need a harpoon, right? So what if I grab this one, which is going to be a fake one? What's this going to do? Because I feel like this is kind of like a side quest you can do. There we go. We got it. Unfortunately... This is how we're actually going to, unfortunately, kill that guy. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Be 
because I cannot grab the real one. There's no way I'm grabbing that. I'm pretty sure if I use this with it, it ain't gonna work, right? It'd be a great weapon. Unfortunately, it's kayak season, so stick to something that will help me pull it back. Yep, exactly. So she wasn't. She doesn't want to do that. I will try to give this guy the thing emoji that he requested, but this is probably gonna get him killed. Is this the harpoon you were looking for? <laughs> Definitely not. My eternal gratitude. Hmm. I don't remember this being so light. It only seems lighter because you're in the water. That makes no <laughs> sense. Trust me, the more you think about it, the less sense it'll make. You're right. Kill beasts first, ask questions later. Oh gosh. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. In my heart, I carry the bravery of all the men who lost their lives to you. You may well rip off my head and strip me of my honor, leaving me to face the same grim fate as my ancestors. But not today, beast. Today is the day you die. Sherman, show your ugly face. Oh gosh, I knew it. I knew it. It's gonna happen. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that is really disgusting. Aha! You finally show yourself. <laughs> what you the heck, dude? Larger than expected monster. <laughs> your reign of terror is at an end. Prepare to meet your fate at the hands of Smokey on the water Hasselback Montoya. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? This is epic. Take this, you filthy beast. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work, buddy. <laughs> it's actually floating because it's made out of cardboard. <laughs> oh man! Wait, that's not how. Why isn't he? It's a fake! A fake! Oh, <laughs> curse you, Betty! I curse you! Tell my daughter to forget about the monster and to kill you oh, instead. Oh gosh! <laughs> Wow. Yeah, sorry about your imminent death. Totally my fault, but I like being alive. I love you, Alice. Avenge what? Me! Oh! oh my! Are you kidding me? Did I actually did a mistake with doing this? Um. Okay. Uh, I don't like this at all. That was a big mistake. That was a really big mistake. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Never mind. Wait, did he actually pick me up as well? What the heck? No. How do I take him out now? Oh, such a brave snack. Such a brave snack. Wait, you can't eat me? Oh, I'm pretty sure I can, but let's find out. Wait, time out, time out. <laughs> that voice, though. You shouldn't eat me. Why not? You look tasty enough. Uh, I'm not Hasselback Montoya. I suffer from terrible disease. Uh, we're, childhood, we're childhood friends, remember? We're childhood friends, remember? Yeah. Then what's my name? What do you mean, what's your name? It's Sherman. Uh, Ruppel Skin Stick. Happy. Hmm. Sherman. Is that a trick question? Your name's Sherman. Oh, wow. You're a smart one, aren't you? Nothing <laughs> escapes my watchful gaze. I was starting to have second thoughts about eating you. But not anymore. No, no his name no, is not Sherman. Please give me one last chance. Well, since I am a gentleman, I'm going to tell you a riddle. If you get it wrong, I eat you. Otherwise, you're free to go. Ha <laughs> ha, then get ready to starve to death. Because <laughs> I'm the Riddle Master. We shall see. So tell me, my lunch. What's large, terrifying, and has a lot of tentacles? What? An eldritch abomination. A kraken. You. A giant squid. Oh, gosh. I mean, isn't it a kraken? Uh, Kraken? 
Uh, no. No. What do you mean no? Okay. I guess that's technically It is exactly. True. <laughs> uh, this one doesn't count. <laughs> Gosh, Round it. two. How many Montoyas does it take to hurt the crack? What? This feels like a trick question. One. Just one? <laughs> no. Did you not see what just happened? I'm having fun with this. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> what smells like beer, tastes like human, and isn't going to make it through the night. Another Montoya. Pam, Lisa. Uh, is it me? Is it me? And we have a winner. Hey, hey there we really? go. What do I win? One way trip to my stunt. <laughs> Now get in oh my, my gosh. belly! Are you kidding me? No! Is this seriously happening? What oh! What do you have there? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Pam is here to save the day. Bob, let go of the nice Oh, his name lady. was Bob. But I knew Lisa. it. Wait, your name's Bob? <laughs> Shut it, snack. What do we always say about eating campers? But what about my tummy rumbles? Bob? Sorry. <laughs> where's Mr. Sorry. Montoya? Montoya? What's a Montoya? We'll talk about Mr. Montoya later. Now, let the girl with the pretty hair go. Just a quick nibble. She doesn't need both. <laughs> you don't want to make me angry, do you, Bob? No, no, not angry. Oh man, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Miss Snack. Please excuse my manners. Yeah, that'll show you. Hey, uh, before you go, there's something you should know. But I don't think you'll be seeing that kayak of yours anytime soon. What did you do? Hey, kayaks belong in the water, not on land, am I right? <laughs> No, I didn't do it. This big guy pushed it away. You're clearly not fit to work here. Give those no. back to me. Did I seriously mess everything up? No, 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 no. Please, give me another Come chance. Come on. Out. Go. Before I get angry. Ugh, Wait, I'm going to have to find a different way. Out. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. That was a serious turn of events. I did not expect that to happen. Now, how the heck am I going to get inside there now? Oh, man. This doesn't look like Sherman at all. Wait, does that mean there's more than one monster in the lake? Ooh, it Even might. Even if I could pick that up, what would I... Would it? Is that going to be a thing? Hold up a minute. How do I get inside here now, though? So confused. This has turned out to be... One of the craziest episodes ever. But I still have no idea how to make my way inside here. Because this is the only oh, thing that I can track with. There are no piranhas down there. Relax, Wait, she... Betty. There are no known species of piranha native to New Mexico. Okay, cool. Just uh, don't keep me in there for too long, okay? Wait, is she going to jump in the water? However, Seriously, <laughs> its lakes are known to host leeches, harmful bacteria. Oh my gosh, this game! And in rare occasions, pygmy megalodons. <laughs> Jesus. So we can exit through there. Oh my gosh, she's moving so fast. Okay, so there's a broken pipe blocking the passage through here. I don't think I can move it. Yeah. Definitely not. I'm not strong enough. Yeah, I can see that. And I got nothing in the uh, inventory. Why is everything an obstacle? <laughs> not fair. Man, I absolutely love As I was saying, guys, I absolutely love it that... Oh, this is kind of like Portal. Look at that. Uh, I absolutely love it that this game has kind of like choices matter. And if you do ch take the wrong choice in the game, you're going to have to figure something else out. Now, why is she going all the way here? Why is she going all the way? I just wanted to go kind of like a tiny bit because there's something on that side. What the heck? Why is she swimming so fast? Hmm. 
I wonder if I gotta get the water to stop being flooding this place because I see a lot of things blocking, like happening in this side that I'm gonna have to figure out. All right, how about we start heading for the exit or something? I know, I know. I just wanted to see what's uh, the deal with that, <gasps> that place. Was intense. Yep, it was. Man. This game turned out to be something so much different than I actually signed up for. But uh, so far, this episode has been absolutely insane. What? The military? What is this? Hold it right there, civilian. You're not supposed to be here. How come? It's, uh, private. Don't you mean <laughs> classified? Uh, uh, yeah, that. You don't know what's going on in there either, do you? Negative I guess not. Civilian. I'm perfectly aware of everything that's going on inside our top secret military base where we hide dangerous and important stuff from the masses. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just go check it out myself if you don't mind. Uh, sure, go right a uh, Hey, quit trying to mess with me. I have a gun. Let me in. <laughs> Why should I? Because... Oh, am I actually going to just convince him? The president sent me... We're pals. I work here. I'm in charge of this base. I work here. I'm Betty from Laundry Division. We need to clean that enormous tarp. We have a Laundry Division? Guess I forgot that too. <laughs> Please come in. What? Oh gosh, no. Private, do my eyes deceive me? Or are you letting a civilian into a top secret facility? Uh, yeah. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. Must have been those desert clams you had at Mike's. And now, like the hallucination I am, I will disappear. Whoosh. Not so fast, you wannabe hallucination. Were you aware that trespassing on military property is a crime punishable by death? I am now. What? Uh, I'm General John A. Hartman. I'm in charge of this base, and I know exactly who works here and who doesn't. Trust me. Hi, General. I'm Betty, and it's my first day. Ah, uh, I have the <laughs> feeling that you're going to be difficult. Yep. You have no idea. Just wait until I tell my mom what you guys are cooking up here. Are you threatening to call your mommy now? Uh, of course, my mommy. Um, yeah. People tremble just hearing her name. Uh, she's a super genius. Bureaucrat? Maybe I am? Do you really think that it's so low to play that mommy, uh, mere card? Uh... Sure. Do you really think I'd go so low as to play the my mommy's the mayor card? You... just did. I don't <laughs> think you understand how much trouble you're in. Whether I understand or not, I don't have many cards to play here, so... Regardless, aren't you a little young to be wandering around by yourself at night? How old are you, anyway? I'm... I don't actually remember. But if I had to guess... 20-ish? Hmm. 20 years old. Anyway, you don't have clearance to be on the base. Leave at once. Wait! I have a lot of questions, and I'm not leaving until you answer them all. <sighs> I'm a busy man, Betty. But let's make a deal. I will answer three questions. And then you leave my base and let me get back to work. Deal? Sure. Uh, seems fair. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, okay, what do you know about the town? What do you know about the town? It's a beautiful town. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I'm asking, what do you know about it? Like I said, it's a beautiful town. Ah, maybe you're hard of hearing. <laughs> what do you know about the town? It's a very <laughs> it's not gonna beautiful break. town. Okay. Um, did you guys blow up the, t Why the did dam? Why you guys blow up the dam? I can neither confirm nor deny our involvement in the dam incident. And even if we did... What makes you think I would tell you any of that? I don't know. Hey, I asked you nicely. Doesn't that count for something? No, it doesn't. And you just wasted one more question. Crap baskets. <laughs> and Crap that's baskets. three questions. But you didn't answer anything important, and... Now, you'll be doing yourself a favor 
if you go back where you came from and never return to this base. Aw, come on. Just one more question, please. Godspeed, Betty. Keep an eye on your mother. And please, be safe. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Dang it, that did not work out, that's for sure. What am I supposed to do now? Because I gotta get inside here somehow. I got nothing in my inventory. Can I even return? Wait, does there anything in the barrel? Oh, we got a stick. Okay. Or is that like a tube? <laughs> why, why is she putting on the glasses? You could say this tube is... Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. These jokes, they're good. I love it. I love it. I have a feeling I can actually use this tube that I got because it's probably a, a pipe or steady tube. This is my tube. <laughs> there are many like it, but this one's mine. Yeah, I have a feeling I may need to use this one when I go on the water to kind of like push that big pipe away so I can make my way inside that under entrance because they're definitely not going to let me inside here. All right, but that being said, guys, this has been the end of this episode of 3 Minutes to Midnight, and we'll come back to the next one. We're going to try to figure it out and uh, hopefully make it inside the army place. I'm not quite sure why I have to do this, but I'm noticing something really strange there that they're actually covering. Is that a UFO? <laughs> Blanket that big. <laughs> yeah, that's the big question. Where did they find the blanket that big? All right, guys. That being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all in the wow, next one. Wow, what's a military base doing here? Do they have a permit? Mom's not gonna like this. <laughs> no, they don't. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.